Good morning class. This is Mamado. Welcome to Mamado classroom. Our lesson for today is about defining percentage, rate, and base. Identifies the base, percentage, and rate in a problem. Now, is percent to decimal or vice versa? So, I will give you time to think and answer the problem. Your time starts now. Okay, let us check your work. Let us see if this is correct. So, percent decimal. The answer is 0.30 or 30 hundred. Very good. About 20 decimal percent. The answer is 27 percent. So, this one in number one. You have to remove the percentage sign and then just put a decimal point here. So the answer is 30 hundreds. Under decimal, we have moved the decimal point from here going to the right. Two pieces going to the right. One, two. And then put a percentage sign okay number two we have 25 percent is to decimal again the same remove the the percent percentage sign and then put a decimal here or move the decimal two places to the left one and two okay the answer is correct this one, 82, 0.82, change 2%. So, move the decimal to places to the right, 1 and 2. Then, put a percentage sign. Correct. So, let us see. Number 3, 80% is to decimal. The same, okay, correct. This one, 0.45, so 45%. Another one, you just remove this one. And then move the decimal place to the left or two pieces to the left, one and two. And the answer is 0.12. Now, here one, this one changed to percent. We have 0.77. Move the decimal place, one, two, and add percent. So we have 75% is to decimal. Remove this one. Then count 1 and 2. So that is 0.75. For decimal, you just to percent, you just move the decimal also to the right. 1 and 2, and then put a, des a percentage sign. Okay, good job. Very good. Okay, what is base? Rate and percentage. Let us see. Base or B refers to the whole, to the whole on which the rate operates. It appears after the word of. Okay, I remember that. Base or B refers to the whole on which the rate operates. It appears after the word of. Now, how about the rate? The rate is the number of hundred parts taken, which is given in terms of percent. <laughs> 
it appears before the word of. The base appears after, while the rate appears before the word of. Okay? Before, ah, remember that before. Each one is after. The word of it is written with a percent sign. This one. That is the percent sign. So you have to remember that the read it appears before the word of and it has a percent sign. Now in percentage or P is a part of the base determined by the rate. It appears before or after the word is. Remember that. It appears before or after the word is. Okay? Any question? Now, I have an example here. Maria Angela got 90% in 100 item test. What is her score? Okay. So let us identify what is the base, what is the rate, and what is the percentage. So, we have 100 items. 100 items of the test. So, it means whole. So, it pertains to the base. Okay? Now, the rate, it has a symbol of percentage. This one. So, 90 is the rate. Okay? Now, we are looking for unknown. So, what is her score? So, that is the percentage. Okay? Is that clear? Okay, another example. We have Prisma got 85% in 50 item tests. What is her score another one we have the item test this is a whole no the item is 50 item test so it is considered as the the base 85 it has a person sign so that is the rate okay so, we are now looking for the percentage. What is her score? Okay. Now, in number 2, we have 30. As we know that uh, it has also a percent sign. So, it is the, the rate. And 100 is the whole. Whole of 30%. So, that is the base. We're still looking for the percentage. Here, number T. Among 1,200 students, see, 10% are absent. So, easily identify. 1,002 is what we call the, the base. Because it pertains to the whole student, no, among the whole student, 1,002. And then, we have 10 with a percent sign, that is the rate. And the unknown is the percent rate. Is there any question? Can you now identify what is the base, the rate, and percentage? Okay. Okay, class, I want you to try this. Apply the missing information below to solve each problem.
Your time starts now. See another one? Keep trying. Identify the base. Generate the percentage. Then write your answer under the column. So, this is an example. 6 is 12.5% of 48. So, 6 and 48. So, we have 48. That is the base. The smaller one, the part of the base and the rate is 6. That is the percentage. And the rate, it has the percent sign, is 12.5%. So, you can do now. 1 to 5. I'll give you time to think and solve the problem. Your time starts now. Okay. What I have learned? Direction. Write the correct answer on the blank. So, in number 1. The uh, question is, what is the base? In number two, what is the rate? Number three, what is the percentage? And number four, what is the rate? And number five, what is the rate also? Now, we have also the assessment. So, in assessment, identify the bold and underlined term. Write as rate, base, or percentage. So we have 1 to 5. Answer the following. Okay, class. We hope you learned something today. This is Mamado. See you on our next lesson. Thank you. Bye.